In today's video, we cover common fastener types for standing seam metal, how to make sure you purchase the right ones for your application, and some quick tips on installation. In this video, we're gonna discuss fasteners for standing seam metal roofing. We'll cover screws for metal and wood decking, rivets, gasket head fasteners, engineering considerations, installation techniques, and more. Standing seam metal roofing is designed to have hidden fasteners. So the most prevalent type of fastener you'll see on a standing seam install is the pancake head fastener. These fasteners either screw down the clip on the male leg of the panel or screw down the fastener flange on the male leg, depending on which profile you're installing. They'll also pin down the top of the metal panel and fasten various flashings around the roof. You'll see rivets also used for certain metal to metal connections like on a hip flashing. And there are some details out there that utilize gasket head fasteners like pipe boots and curbs. How do you choose the right screw for your project? Well, let's start with the deck material. Is it a wooden or metal deck? Some fasteners are threaded for wood applications with a gimlet point and some are both self-drilling and self-tapping for metal. Screws that are intended for metal decking often have a higher thread count than screws intended for wood. Are you installing a hidden fastener or exposed fastener? Exposed fasteners that Sheffield Metal sells are generally a quarter inch hex head drive and have an EPDM washer built onto the screw, and they come painted to match the roof color they'll be installed on. There are different coatings when it comes to fasteners as well, most of the fasteners Sheffield Metals uses from Triangle Fastener Corporation come with their Tri-Seal coating, which ensures you can use those fasteners in a wide variety of substrates like treated lumber without inverse reactions. Metal roofing screws most often come in either carbon steel or stainless steel, depending on the environment you're installing in. What's the length you need? Is your clip directly on the substrate you're attaching it to, or are there a couple inches of insulation you need to get through? One note for fastener flange or nail strip panels is that it's common to use an ultra low profile head, but we recommend forming the panels with clip relief and using a standard pancake head instead. When it comes to fastener installation techniques, we did a whole video series with Triangle Fastener Corporation that covers quality control testing, choosing the right fastener for your application and installation, so check that out. I'll cover a couple highlights here. First, we can talk about the tools. Don't use impact guns because they can fracture the screw due to their strength and torque. Instead, using a screw gun with an adjustable clutch is preferred, like this DeWalt VersaClutch screw gun. Don't install fasteners at an angle or over or under driven because concealed fasteners will telegraph through the panel or cause oil canning, and the rubber washer on exposed fasteners will break down prematurely and not remain weather tight. On engineered systems, make sure you match your fasteners with the ones used in the original engineering test. Check with your manufacturer for help selecting the right fastener when following engineering requirements. Again, I'd highly recommend you check out our video series with Triangle Fastener Corporation. They have very knowledgeable people on staff that were kind enough to share tons of useful information about fasteners and their uses. Make sure you subscribe here to the Metal Roofing channel so you don't miss the next video in our Standing Seam Metal Roofing Accessory Series. Comment down below with any questions, and as always, I'm Thad Barnett, and I'll catch you next time.